Hey guys, this is the 08 Yamaha 212X wakeboard boat. It'll be a nice long video, walk around showing all the features and options. Just point them out as we go. This boat is sitting on a tandem axle trailer that has brand new tires and custom wheels. It does have the disc brakes on it. Also includes a spare tire and wheel. On the outside of the boat, you'll see it does have the pop-up cleats, the wet sounds tower speakers, wet sounds equalizer, Clarion radio head unit, and a Clarion controller on the back deck. It does have a kicker amplifier, a kicker comp subwoofer and kicker speakers throughout has the board rack for your wake surfer or wakeboard bimini top also includes a brand new towable cover has a ladder on front and back stows out of the way lots of storage good amount of seating so everyone can come with you and not be sitting on top of each other it is ready for nine people maximum this boat does have the tandem motors dual motors they are four stroke Yamaha high output engines real good power whether you're just running around or if you're actually gonna be pulling a wakeboard or water skier or tuber includes this airhead pipeline tube and rope and the airhead rope and handle there this uh, back deck is fantastic for just sitting around on the water and visiting or swimming off and also you have the removable table here so that you can uh, have your drinks back here and you can move it in, up into the uh, main part of the boat whenever you get up in there we're gonna pause for a moment I'll climb up inside and then we'll get started back up again all right, now that we're up here, I'll just show you uh, around. It does have a brand new anchor light included. This tower is collapsible, so if you need to get it in the barn or garage, you can do so. It just has three screw handles there that you can screw on both sides, and then one up here on the bend over point, and then the whole tower just comes down. Really nice feature is that it has this little bit of a step through with a fiberglass step right there so you don't have to step on the interior to get in and out. Here's your other table position. Just kind of looking around in here. See this kicker audio. Also, you can see where your hookup points are for the uh, water hose. So if you want to hook up your hose so you can run your engines without having to get run out to the lake if you're doing a little maintenance you can do so there lots of storage underneath all the seats and underneath the floor the captain's seat is a bolster so you can pop that up so you have better view or you can set it back down if you like it does spin it does have three factory ballast tanks our sacks they fill and empty with that switch dual motor control right there here's your wet sounds equalizer 12 volt plug-in as well as dual keys clear on head unit blower bilge lights and a horn it also has the no wake mode which is a cool feature you can actually turn that on and uh, keeps you at a special certain pace so that you're not throwing a wake out includes the factory depth finder Yamaha was interesting this year. For some reason, they didn't put hour meters on these. So you have to have the software to be able to read the motor. That's included with this. It was uh, not included with the boat purchase, but we we, we have it and we're gonna give it to you. Uh, there's no codes on the motor, but it also allows you to read any codes that could be on the motor in the future, but shows you the hours. Real low hour boat though. A couple of lounges up here, as well as a step that goes up to that front ladder. And it's got storage underneath here as well as there 
and we'll show you the storage underneath the seats. Underneath here, uh, there's a couple of poles for that trailerable cover. It just uh, gives it a little bit of a high point to keep any rain off of it, help it roll off. And inside this bag, we're not real sure, but I believe that is for a Bimini Top extension kit. Because there's some Bimini, part, Bimini Top canvas in there. On this side, this storage actually goes along up and underneath the front in here. So if you've got a long set of water skis or just something else you're taking with you, plenty of room. Right here is the hookup. You need to hook up to your phone. And this dual door comes out to block from wind and then also allows you access to this storage area. Build box is just storage. If you'd like to see the operator's manual, they do have that on available for free on the internet. Now this has had a really nice heavy duty billet ski mirror added. Tilt up and down steering wheel. Go ahead and show you what it looks like underneath these seats. See so a ballast tank here and that runs to the back. Open up your hood, check out your twin motors. Like I said, those are the Yamaha four stroke high output engines. Lots of power, not only that, but it is really nice. Uh, I've never been caught at the lake with a dead motor, but I know it happens to people. But it's always nice to have a second engine in case something crazy happened like that. Battery switch back here. While this is up, we're gonna take a look underneath the seat. On this side, dual batteries, kicker comp, subwoofer, kicker M700.5 amplifier. Drop this back down. We're not going to start it up because I don't have the hoses hooked up, but we'll just go ahead and turn it into the odd position for you. You can hear it beeping, and the depth finder's trying to find it up for us. Uh, just kind of crank it real quick. You can hear it wants to start. I don't want to do too much on it though. Appreciate you taking time to watch. I do hope this video was beneficial to you.